truck style. This is where we release the bugs. 12 months ago and six, six months ago, this is what it's like in six months. It's dried them up and it will never come back. This is a one of the dead bits of it and um, she ain't coming back. As you can see, I put it on the ground. She just goes all powdery. It'll, it'll lay its eggs and it'll spin a little waxy web over the top and underneath that is where they'll be munching on the cactus and injecting a toxin that's in their saliva into the cactus which ultimately kills the whole thing. Uh, it is extremely drought resistant because it's fleshy and it doesn't have any leaves so the moisture doesn't escape from it so quickly. It has really thick tough skin so inside, inside these cladders will be a lot of moisture so that's how it stays alive during drought times. As you can see it, it will impede stock movement and mustering which also aids in spread of the cactus because each of these clutters will break off very easily, get tangled in wool and fur, which will then be scratched off later on and spread the cactus. It also will choke out native species. As you can see, there's not a lot of ground cover in this area because it's just out competing for the resources. Hi, I'm Lucas. I've got a box of about half full of infected cactus. This full covers about 25 adult sized cactus. The uh, bugs are free for pickup for landholders. The only real requirement when picking them up is that we need your contact details. So we can just get in touch with you later on to see how the bugs are spreading or if having any troubles with them.